healthy environment. In South Africa, every person has the right to live in a clean and healthy environment. That means no garbage in the streets, smelly waste or dangerous objects around us. No matter where you are from or how beautiful your neighborhood looks, it's your job to keep the environment clean. Dirt, Dirt disease, disease and, and danger. danger. An environment is unhealthy when it is filled with garbage or other kinds of waste. When a place is dirty, it attracts insects and rats. They feed off the smelly waste. And you know what else lives in waste? Germs and bacteria. They are tiny creatures that can make you very sick. They give off bad smells and cause food to go rotten. If you spend time in unhealthy environments, you could pick up these germs and bacteria. It's not only dangerous for kids, but adults too. Even the rats and insects pick up these germs and bacteria and can pass it on to you. Getting sick is not the only thing that unhealthy environments cause. Places that are filled with old furniture or objects are also unhealthy. If things are just thrown away, it can make the area very dangerous to be in. You could trip over something or get cut by a sharp object. When you see waste or garbage in an open area, always tell an adult about it. That way they can either clean it up or get the municipality, who are the people in charge of our town, to clean it up. It is against the law to dump garbage on open fields or areas where people live. Types of pollution When an environment is filled with waste and garbage, it is called pollution. Pollution happens on land, in water and in the air. Land pollution happens when garbage or waste is left in open areas where people walk. This is dangerous for people who walk by and attracts nasty creatures. The average person generates over 2 kilograms of trash every day. Always throw your garbage into garbage bins. Garbage bins are then cleared out on special areas called landfills, where it is out of people's way. Landfills are smelly places, but at least it keeps garbage away from people's homes and towns. The fumes that factories release into the air cause air pollution. It comes from burning material to make new products. When the air gets polluted, it doesn't smell fresh anymore. Over a long time, it is unhealthy to breathe in polluted air because it can make your lungs sick and cause coughing. Power stations that burn coal to make electricity also release harmful stuff into the air that pollutes the air. That's why scientists are inventing new ways of creating electricity that doesn't cause pollution. The fumes that cars release are one of the biggest causes of air pollution. Buses and trucks have big engines, so they release even more harmful fumes. Not even water is safe from pollution. Garbage that is dumped into the sea pollutes the ocean. Birds and small sea animals can get stuck in garbage or choke if they try to eat it. That's why you should always pick up your litter on the beach. Rivers and lakes also get polluted with garbage. If you see one filled with garbage, tell an adult. Don't try to clean it up yourself because it might be dangerous. Pouring used or dangerous chemicals into water can also cause pollution. Some factories secretly dump their waste into the ocean or into lakes. This can kill animals living in the water. And if people drink from the water, it can cause diseases. Never play around water that has a bad smell. It probably means the water is polluted. It's best that you leave the area as soon as you can. If you see kids playing around polluted water, you should tell them about how dangerous it could be. Pollution can seem scary, but we can all help to stop it by keeping our neighborhoods clean and warning others about polluted areas. Recycling With so much pollution on the earth, there are still ways that you can help save the environment. Recycling is a process where garbage like used paper and plastic are made into new products. It's actually cheaper to make products from recycled material than to make it from new materials. That sounds kind of gross, right? Well, it isn't. Big machines first clean everything that is recycled so there's no funny smells or dirt on it. 
If you want to recycle, you have to throw your garbage into special bins. The garbage must be sorted into different types so that they can be recycled. Recyclable materials are sorted into three categories, plastic, paper and glass. There is a bin for each one. You can either take them to a recycling center or a truck will pick it up and take it to a recycling center. At the recycling center, the materials are sorted again. The same types of paper are put together and glass of the same color is put together because glass keeps its color after recycling. Then big machines crush the material and create new materials out of it. All kinds of cool stuff are made out of new material. Bottles, sheets of paper and even playground equipment can be made from it. So there's a lot to gain from recycling. Did you know recycling a hundred cans could light your bedroom for two whole weeks? The best part about recycling is that it stops garbage from ending up in landfills and makes new things out of used things. Modern glass bottles would take 4,000 years or more to decompose, and even longer if it's in the landfill. That's why it is important to reuse items so we can reduce the amount of waste. Recycling keeps the environment clean and healthy and saves energy in creating new products. Let's keep our environment healthy.